Hey YouTube, so um, I'm in Boulder City, Nevada visiting with my friend Ginger just for the day. Uh, well, the day and night, spending the night here. And today is day 12 of no smoking. And yesterday I went to um, the gym and today I am paying for it. I'm really, really, really sore. Um, it's been really strange. I'm not sure what's happening really since I've quit smoking. It seems like my body pain has increased. Um, now, mind you, years ago, I was diagnosed with um, fibromyalgia and I've always refused to believe it, but I've always had more soreness than most people, I suppose you could say, like after, um, even after just some, some yoga, like my inner legs or my hip muscles or whatever was always really sore. And I've always had a lot of upper back pain. Um, so who knows, maybe I really do. I do know I have a doctor's appointment on June 6th to try to get some answers. Um, I think I'm going to push it up, although this is still technically only day 12 of not smoking. I just feel like some of these symptoms should be gone, so you know that's probably my anxiety playing into to play because the horse voice is still here, which is probably allergies. Yesterday I actually um, gave in and took some allergy medicine and some cough drops and the rumbly feeling that I have in my voice. Like you can totally hear it right now, I think. Maybe it's all in my head. <laughs> um, maybe it was, I don't know. It did go away for a little while, but I don't know. Like I'm starting to panic more and more and this is not fun. I've had to take my anxiety medicine um, daily for the last what is today? So in the last week, because today's Saturday, right? Yeah. Today's Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. Um, so last Thursday, or Thursday before last, I actually had to call 911. Um, and then Friday, no, not Thursday before last, just this last Thursday, I had to call the ambulance because I panicked so bad. Um... And then this just like ever since, like, I'm pretty sure it was the Friday before last because my friend um, ended up coming and getting me and making me go out with him that night just because he said I was too stressed and I needed a break and, you know, you're doing all these things. I probably shouldn't have went drinking, especially being that I tried, I'm quitting smoking. And so my lymphatic system, you know, like lymph nodes and you know, everything that flushes toxins out of your body is in like overdrive right now because it's kind of probably in shock. Um, maybe, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Um, but it's just been, fuck, it's been tough and it's scary. Um, I don't know like why I'm still having some of these symptoms. <laughs> Um, I would think, you know, they tell you that you feel better and have more energy. Um, I don't think that's true necessarily for everybody. Um, and a lot of the time I think sometimes people don't always tell you the truth. You know, they, they make videos about when they quit smoking or they quit addictions and, and all these great things are happening to them. No, 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 that's not what I want. Give me the raw and the dirty and the rough and the hard and the scary because I have anxiety. And if somebody else isn't having the same symptoms that I'm having, then I'm dying, right? That's how we feel. Um, yeah, and so anyway, a good friend of mine, um, my old roommate actually, he is a massage therapist. And so him and I are working out a thing where he's going to try to get me a massage just a light kind of like a brushing which is more like it's like a hard push into you know the body or whatever but um not a full massage and he's gonna do that a couple of times a week um to help push 
these toxins out. Um, you know, and in previous videos, I've shown you guys what I do take. I take uh, liquid chlorophyll, which is like a liquid oxygen. It helps um, build your red blood cells. I take um, hydrolonic acid. I take collagen, um, liquid collagen plus C. I drink apple cider vinegar, just one tablespoon every day, but I think I'm going to up it to two um, in the morning and at night. Um, yeah. And partly I think I'm not drinking enough water every single day, which is not good because drinking water through this is super important. Um, so today is day 12 and I haven't, I've just been really sore, but I had a pretty good day. I mean, I woke up this morning and I was pretty chill. I didn't really have um, those weird back pains I had been having last week. Um, but my muscles are sore from the gym and then my friend Keith came over and gave me about an hour massage just on my upper back because it's been like my trap on this side has been really odd like it feels pinched almost right here like in the joint um, which isn't surprising because two years ago I went cliff jumping um, in Nelson Nevada off like a 50 foot cliff it was awesome but I didn't land right, and I landed with this arm was like out, and when I hit, it jammed everything up, you know, and um, I was in a lot of pain for quite a few months um, until I had a chiropractor figure out what he thinks was that I had popped out my top two ribs. Um, so I don't know. I, mean, I I really don't know, and I don't always think doctors really know. Um, but it did get better and it got stronger and uh but i think that might be acting up again and you know that was also when i had been informed that i had degenerative disc it's it was mild this was two years ago um and c3 4 and 5 which is in my neck um which in, um explains a lot of my neck pain um and I'm actually going back into the doctor for that on the 16th of this month. I'm going to go in for x-rays on Monday. Um, and exciting news, I am also starting training with a gentleman in my hometown um, called Brian Skinner on Monday. He has fought like um, cage fights and MMA, but he's pretty skilled in building muscles and we think that maybe what has happened is my my smaller muscles are not engaging when my bigger muscles engage and so that might be leading to some of my pain um we're probably going to do three times a week for a month and see where i'm at i'm definitely going to journal that journey for you guys too because i feel that i'm not alone in the world i'm not alone with my anxiety i'm not alone with the unexplained body pain, whether it is fibromyalgia or something else, which I've had it for years and I've been tested for RA and lupus and all that other stuff that causes the pain as well. And it's always been negative. So I don't think it's that. I never even showed any factors for that. Um, I'm not alone in having plantar fasciitis, which is absolutely killing me right now. Um, that kind of has been coming and going. Um, I'm not alone in quitting smoking, I'm not alone in the symptoms I'm going through, and I know people are searching for answers all the time, and, um, if I can help, and I want to help, you know, um, so yeah, uh, that's that. I haven't really had any bad cravings today. The last couple days I've had some cravings, but today I haven't really wanted one at all. Um... And my friend Ginger smokes. <laughs> That's where I'm at. So we will see how I do. Um, I'm going to be here until tomorrow afternoon. Her and I are spending Mother's Day together because, well, we're both um, motherless. So we decided that we would spend Mother's Day together because we're both single. We both have kids that are the same age and, you know, both of our mothers have passed away. So, um, yeah. I have some things planned. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, I don't know. 
lately it, it's been because my anxiety has been bothering me it, my train of thought has been off and like today a couple times it's kind of hard to swallow it's like my brain couldn't figure out how to do it which is another thing that's freaking me out um but you know I don't know I've noticed a lot of things what have I noticed since I quit smoking I can breathe better I'm not taking those deep breaths as often during the day um I am actually breathing it feels like I'm breathing more shallow uh, my heart rate is lower. My beats per minute, my resting heart rate, I guess is what it's called, um, has dropped down to like low 70s, high 60s. It used to be in the 80s, just resting. Um, my breaths per minute has probably also dropped down, or yeah, dropped down because smokers typically breathe like 20 plus um, breaths per minute, which could put you in a hyperventilating state which is when you have anxiety also blah 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 you breathe too fast don't get enough ox yeah you guys know um so my so that's weird it's a weird adjustment for me and my lungs definitely feel different um they're healing from 26 years of being absolutely disgustingly horrible to them and I'm at the stage where I just want to cry and I regret ever picking up a cigarette. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, I have a couple videos I'm actually going to make in the next few minutes that are totally different um, topics. But um, I just wanted to share my day 12 with you guys and... I hope that I am helping some of you out there. So you all have a great day, great evening. It is late, um, not too late in Nevada. I think it's like 9.30. Um, it's dark and there's a pool and I so wanna go swimming, but it's not quite warm enough. Um, so tomorrow I think I'm, I'm going to enjoy the pool some tomorrow, either the pool or we're gonna go to Lake Mead and just enjoy life so thanks for watching thanks for being part of my community um i love you guys and i hope that you all are doing great thanks